Hello, I am Seamus Dunahoo, and this is a guide to finding the New Horizons space probe uh, that Frontier Developments recently put into Elite Dangerous to honor the actual honest-to-goodness New Horizons space probe launched by, uh, I think it was NASA. Uh, today is Thursday, April the 19th, 2018. Uh, the... The basic information that you're going to need is that upon jumping into Sol, you will want to uh, select this solar system, Preya Uk, uh, WC-NC9-0. Uh, and I got that from a post by Rixgay66. Um, you'll want to supercruise out to, in that direction, the direction of that marker, out to about 1.7 million light seconds, the exact light seconds you can see in the video here. Uh, and then you will want to adjust further so that you're the appropriate distances from Sedna and Persephone. Uh, if you're good with quadlateration, that's all you need to know. Uh, you can stop watching at this point. If you don't know what the hell I'm talking about, uh, then I will guide you through that process. Your first step, of course, is to travel to Seoul. Uh, if you're new to Elite Dangerous, be aware that Seoul is a permit-locked system. You're going to need to first uh, work your way up through a few ranks of the Federation Navy Four, in order to get the three, permit. Two, one, Otherwise, you can't get into Seoul, and you're not going to be able to do this at all. So. Uh, I forget what the exact rank is, but it's not very high. I think it's rank, rank 3 or 4 or something. Once you are in Seoul, uh, make sure you fuel scoop. Fuel scooping complete. You are going to be in super cruise for a while, so you want a full tank. Next, you're going to go to your map. And let's see... Let me get my notes here real quick. You're going to want to put in this solar system. P-R-A-E-A -E space E-U-Q space W-C dash N space C-9 dash zero. That is the numeral zero. That is not the letter O. So search for that solar system. Uh, select it. Do not plot route. You want to select. Select that solar system. Uh, you'll see a marker. Uh, aim your ship at that marker. As, mm, as precisely as you can, but it's a really tiny target. Uh, and go up to full throttle. Now, you're going to be looking for a point of interest called Ancient Probe. So in your left-hand panel, Navigation tab, make sure your filters are set to uh, include points of interest. We don't want signal sources, we don't need systems, we don't need stations, settlements. Uh, let's leave on planets and moons of both kinds and stars. So stars, all planets and moons, and points of interest. Those are the things we will need. So having your ship pointed at this marker, you're going to super cruise out for quite a while. Um, I guess maybe 20 minutes or so. I didn't actually time this, um, so I'll see. Uh, I have the in-game time in this recording as being uh, 22.40, so 10.40 p.m. Uh, Elite Dangerous time. And you are going to super cruise until you're about 1,726,000 light seconds away from Seoul. While you're waiting, uh, you will want to prepare some text in Notepad, uh, which you're going to want to copy into Local Channel or some other ch in game chat channel or something. I'm in solo, so the NPCs don't care if I chat in local. So I'm going to paste this in, 
And those numbers are the distances from the New Horizon space probe to each of the three major uh, markers that we're going to use. The star itself, the Sol itself, the, the sun, um, Sedna, and Persephone. Uh, Sedna and Persephone are very far removed from the sun, so they are useful as, um, uh, as distance measurements. Alright, so while I'm sitting here in Super Cruise, uh, here's the basic idea. We're going to find the New Horizons probe by the theory of quadlateration, which is finding the location of a target based on its distances from four uh, reference points. Now granted, we only have three reference points, but that's going to be okay uh, for reasons that I'll explain. So the New Horizons space probe, as of today, and again, today is Thursday, April the 19th, uh, 2018, so these numbers are going to change a little bit from day to day, maybe a, a few light seconds each day, I think. Uh, but as of today, April uh, the 19th, 2018, New Horizons is, uh, at least in game, the New Horizons probe in game is 1,726,716 light seconds away from the sun. For brevity, I'm just going to call this 1.7 million light seconds. Uh, so since it's 1.7 million light seconds away from the sun, that means the probe has to be on a gigantic ball, 1.7 million light seconds in radius, and centered on the sun. New Horizons is also 1.5 million light seconds away from Sedna, uh, which is one of the... Um, scroll down through here. It's one of the uh, celestial objects uh, in the solar system, as implemented by Frontier Developments. Um, so... It's also 1.5 million light seconds away from Sedna. Which means that the New Horizons probe is also on a completely different gigantic ball centered on Sedna and with a radius of 1.5 million light seconds. So it's on the surface of a sphere centered on the sun and it's on the surface of a, of a different sphere centered on Sedna. Where two spheres intersect they generally intersect in a circle. So uh, imagine you've got a scoop of ice cream, and then you slapped another scoop of ice cream on top of that. All right? So that seam in between the two scoops where those uh, round surfaces meet, that's the circle where the two spheres intersect. So the New Horizons probe has to be on that circular intersection, on the rim of that circle. At the same time, we know that New Horizons is 1.9 million light seconds away from Persephone. So again, it's got to be on the surface of a gigantic sphere, 1.9 million light seconds, and centered on Persephone. And where a, where a sphere intersects a circle, you've only got a pair of points. So at those two points, those are the only two points in space that have those distances from your three reference points. So there are only three, uh, there are only two points in the entire solar system that are both 1.7 million light seconds from the sun, 1.5 million light seconds from Sedna, and 1.9 million light seconds from Persephone. One of those points is somewhere up ahead. The other of those points is somewhere up behind me, approximately. So, having this particular solar system uh, that I had you search for on the galaxy map, uh, and pointing your ship towards this marker, will point you towards the correct one of the pair. So that's why we don't need a fourth distance reference to find the New Horizons probe. 
So you're going to sit in super cruise for a while, uh, heading towards this thing. Uh, and you're going to need to watch your distance from the sun until you are, um, this is why you write it down, until you are 1,726,716 light seconds out. Uh, you're going to want to slow down before you get out that far, otherwise you're going to overshoot, but I will demonstrate that, demonstrate that in a moment. All right, so I'm about 1.6 million light seconds away from the sun. Uh, my speed out this far is about 1600 light speed. Uh, I'm gonna want to start slowing down pretty soon. One seven two six seven one six. Okay. Um, now I'm trying to find a point of interest, and points of interest are only visible within 1,000 light seconds, which remains true whether you're next to the sun or you're way out at this distance. And trying to find something that can only be seen from a thousand light seconds away when you're over a million light seconds away from anything else is tricky. So while this marker for this solar system that uh, I had you select on the galaxy map is useful for getting you out to the general region, it's not good enough for... Um, Bottle. It's not good enough for actually landing exactly on top of this thing. Trying to hit a circle 1,000 light seconds in radius from a distance of uh, 1.7 million light seconds, that's about 0 0.066 degrees wide. That's a tiny target to hit from Seoul. Um, so, yeah, follow the marker out to 1726716. I'm at one quarter throttle now. One eighth. Alright, so this marker is no longer useful to us. I'm going to select Sol. Oh, this is not going to help. Um, I'm toggling between 1 8th throttle and 0 throttle. All right, good enough. Um, I'm only about 50 light seconds off. All right, so I'm now on the sphere 1.7 million light seconds in radius centered on Sol. Now I need to correct the distance to Sedna. Uh, and let's see, uh, so Sedna, you know what, let me correct the distance to Persephone first. So I want to be 1881.15 second, sorry, 1881.157 light seconds away from Persephone. How far am I actually? 1880, so I'm a little too close, I need to get further away. Uh, so first things first. I'm going to turn my ship so that I have the sun directly overhead, uh, like that. I have the sun selected, so that's the thing that's in gray right now. Next, I'm going to select Persephone. Now Persephone is in gray. Uh, now here's the thing. Um, I want to keep my distance from the sun the same at all times. So if I'm moving per perpendicular to my radius from the sun, that means I'm not getting any closer, and I'm not getting any further away from the sun, as long as I keep the sun directly overhead. Or, more generally, uh, let me reselect the sun again. There we go. 
more generally, if I want to keep my current distance from the sun a constant while I'm moving forward, uh, it doesn't have to be directly overhead. It can also be off to the side here, as long the left or the right. Uh, imagine a horizontal line on your sensor display going straight through your ship. You want the uh, you want the base of the gray vertical gray rod here to be exactly on that imaginary horizontal line, so that as I'm moving so as I'm moving forward uh, and pitching up appropriately. I'm keeping the same distance from the sun all the time. Uh, it doesn't have to be directly overhead, but it could be. Um, which we'll see in a moment when I try to correct for my distance to Sedna. Let me reselect Persephone again. 180.457, so I'm too close. So I'm going to yaw to the right which is, of course, going to be a slow process. But basically, I'm trying to get Persephone to be behind me since I'm too close to it right now. Um, if I were too far away from Persephone, I would want to put Persephone in front of me so that the gray rod for Persephone is in front of my ship rather than behind it. But I'm too far. Uh, I'm too close, so I want to get further away. Uh, I'm going to look at my nav panel now, and I'm going to increase my speed just a little bit. One eight eight one one five seven. And you know what? I can't distinguish between the sun and Persephone. There we go. And I want to keep the sun directly overhead as much as possible. Whoop. I overshot. 1881157. Uh, yeah, I went a little bit too far. Again, for your filters, you want stars, planets and moons, landfall, planets and moons, and points of interest. You can turn off everything else, you don't need it. Uh, Alright, let me come about. Now, I can either have the sun directly over my head or directly underneath my seat. Either works. Uh, you know what? Directly underneath my seat seems to be more convenient. Um, well, it seemed for a moment like lines wouldn't overlap each other as much, but I guess it doesn't make a difference there. Um, so now I have Persephone in front of me, or at least it's a uh, gray rod in front of me. One eight eight one one five seven. All right, overshot again, but you know what? That's close enough. Uh, one seven two six. Uh, I'm a little bit. You know what? I'm gonna say that's close enough for now. Um. I hope it's close enough for now. If it's off by more than a thousand light seconds, uh, so my distance to the sun is wrong by about 150. But if it's wrong by more than a thousand light seconds, you definitely need to get that corrected because that's not good enough. It's only right now, in my case, it's only um, a little too close by about a hundred light seconds. Um, hopefully I'll be able to get that fixed. We'll see if it's good enough or not. Now I want to fix my distance to Sedna. 1526496. I'm too far away. So I'm going to select Sedna. And I'm going to put Sedna in front of me. You can, if you need to make a course, uh, a rough adjustment, you can uh, roll, then pitch, then roll. Uh, 
Uh, now, I don't want to change my distances to Soul or Persephone much. So, I'm orienting my ship so that the the base of the vertical rods for the Sun and Persephone, both currently orange, because it's said that it's, that's selected right now, are on that horiz imaginary horizontal line that I was talking about earlier. So as long as I keep, uh, keep those rods on that horizontal line while I'm moving, my distances to Persephone and the Sun will not change. I've got Sedna in front of me, so I will uh, gradually get closer. I'll close the distance to Sedna. So one five two six four nine six. Uh, there. Go a little closer. Bingo! Ancient probe. Now I turn my ship. <clears throat> Full throttle. Three quarters throttle. Uh, I need to be within 28.6 megameters and 28.6 megameters per second. So I'm going to use the super braking technique that I described in an earlier video. I'm going to start super braking at 2.86 light seconds. Um, for now, I'm going to hold a three quarters throttle. Two point, there we go, full, zero. My thumb's on the button for dropping. There. And there you have it, there's the New Horizons probe. Alright. This same technique also works for fight, whoa. I almost crashed into a 1,300-year-old probe, space probe. Hey, what a day. So the same technique also works for finding any of the other uh, real-world probes that Frontier Developments puts into the Soul System as ancient probes. So you can find uh, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 like this. The information that you need is basically some distant solar system on the galaxy map to serve as uh, an initial lead-in to put you in the correct region. And the Voyager 1 or Voyager 2's distances to Sol, Sedna, and Persephone. Any other objects in the solar system are not particularly useful because they are way too close to Sol. They're way too close to the sun itself to be useful here. It's uh, you need the you want the distances to um, Sol, Sedna, and Persephone ideally, and of course these things move around, so the numbers are going to change by probably uh, a few light seconds uh, every day, right? But as of today, these are the numbers: Sol, Sedna, and Persephone. All right. So I hope you found this useful. Uh, go ahead and make your own pilgrimage today. Thank you for watching.